Hi everyone, welcome to this video demonstration of spinach turnovers. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. When making something like turnovers, I recommend making the filling first so it has time to cool off before you stuff it into your little dough pockets. So I used a very basic spinach and cheese combination. I started by sauteing some chopped garlic and then I poured in a bag of frozen spinach. This is a 10 ounce bag of frozen spinach and it's just enough for this recipe. Then season it with salt and pepper and let it steam and saute itself until it's really dry. If you get any liquid or moisture coming out of the leaves when you squish it together, keep it going a little bit more. You wanna to try to get this as dry as possible and that's just to keep your turnovers from getting soggy. Once you like where your spinach has gotten, then pour it out on a cutting board and chop it up as good as you can. And now I've mixed it into a bowl with three quarters of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Now I'm gonna set that aside and let it rest. And now it's time to make the dough. Most likely you got to this video through the pie crust demonstration, which is what we use for the dough for these turnovers. If for some reason you haven't, you should go watch this video on how to make the dough. All right, so your dough is rolled out to an eighth of an inch thick. We're gonna cut it into three inch squares or circles if you happen to have a little three inch biscuit cutter, that's actually best here. It really takes just working with the filling and with the dough to get a feel for how much you can squeeze into your little squares or your circles. The dough is really easy to work with, so that's not really the issue here. It's just getting the shape right and, and, and getting comfortable with lit quite literally, you know, making your turnovers. This is probably the most time consuming part of the recipe. So just to show you um, how this ended up for me, here's all the turnovers I got out of this. Um, I ended up rolling it thinner than I probably should have. And you can see in some of the pieces here where um, I've had to, to try to fix it. it. It doesn't, it's not pretty at all, but I was trying to fix these really thin spots. And so I've got these uh, really thick pieces of dough kind of just stuck there. But nonetheless, I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 25 minutes on 375 degrees. And here they are. You can tell which ones I overstuffed. Certainly not the end of the world, but I probably could have gotten more turnovers out of this whole experience had I not overstuffed. I ended up with extra pie crust, and there's another video related to what I did with that extra, and if you want to watch that, you can click on this link right here and watch what I did with the extra pie crust. Otherwise, you can let these cool, they're ready to go. You can also freeze these at any point after they've been assembled, meaning you can freeze them before or after they've been baked. So this may be something that is worth your while to do and can be that quick breakfast or afternoon snack. Just pull them out of the freezer and pop them in the oven and they're ready to go again. Okay guys, that's it for spinach turnovers. Please leave a comment in the video and let me know what kind of filling you did. This crust was so easy. I have a feeling that I will probably do this often because it's just so convenient. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion.